Hi, this is Chris Solkowski, and we're live. <laughs> we're just talking about the fruits of the Spirit, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, this fruit of the Spirit of faithfulness. And God wants to be, us to be faithful, not, not just um, doing the right things, you know, sacrificing and you know, doing what's good, because Jesus says that no one is good except for the Father, and and um and and us working through the holy spirit walking in the spirit that's when we're good it says in romans 8 verse 5 it says those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature de desires so if we're wa walking the flesh and we're doing the sinful we're in walking the sinful nature which we do a lot um we do that we have the desires of the sinful nature those who live according to what the Spirit have their minds set on, what the Spirit desires. So if we're walking in the Holy Spirit, then we're going to do what the Spirit wants to do. And that's the godly things, okay? The mind of a sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. The sinful mind is hostile to God, okay? So, so we're hostile to God if we're walking in the flesh, if we're walking in our sinful nature. And that's walking in the flesh. So that whenever you you know you want to do good, you you want to do it. You do it because you think you're going to get something back, or you think you're going to you're kind of feeling like you're sacrificing. Thing I'll do this, and and then it's, I'll get repaid for it. But the spirit it works in a diff, whole different way. It's it's doing out of God's direction and power and love and all the um all his, all his character. And so it's coming from a flow of living water. So it doesn't expect anything back, okay? So that's why it's full of life. But flesh is full of death because it literally tries to grab and take. And that's where that sacrifice comes in because you're trying to sacrifice yourself so that you can get something from it. And you're not, and God just wants obedience. And obedience is not done in the flesh. It can't be. Obedience is only walking in the spirit. And so, um, so that's why it's so important to be walking in the spirit and faithfulness can only be done. Faith and doing what God wants us to do can all be done by walking in the spirit. Good is not, not, is not being in the spirit is not being faithful. So you can do all the good in, you, in the world, but it's, what does the Bible say? It's as filthy rags, mm -hmm. our goodness. And you may think, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing it in God. I'm doing it for God. But we've been talking about over and over some of the things that that determine if you're really doing in the flesh or not. And we'll be talking more about that after we get done with the fruits. But it's really important. There's a difference between walking in the spirit and walking in the flesh. And if you're walking in the flesh, it's not. It's just goodness. It's your own goodness. And so it's really important to remember that and to really allow ourselves to die to our flesh and die to what we want and die to what we think is right and just hear from the Holy Spirit because that's what it says. We only do what the, the Holy Spirit desires and that means we, we walk according to that. We ask God for his direction and we constantly be aware and, and succumb to his, his, um, his ways, okay, his desires because we don't have those desires. We, it is not in us to do that. But if we're come before the Lord and ask Him for His help and direction and all the all the ways we've been talking about by walking in the Spirit, that's going to allow us to be in a place that we're going to be able to to be a vessel, be a clear vessel for God, mm -hmm. that He can work and be um, be utilized. We can really He can really utilize us and really love through us. Okay. Um, the mind of the sinful mind. Okay, we talked about that. In the verse 7, the sinful mind is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. See, it, it's, you know, we try to do all these things right. I mean, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they did everything according to the law. But Jesus said, you are full of dead man's bones. And that's why, that's because of the fact that the inside was all messed up. Their heart was messed up and all. There was, you know, deception going on. See, it was all behind closed doors. And you... A lot of times when you're when you're doing sinful things and and I know I, when I do sinful things it's because I'm not in the Holy Spirit I'm not walking in the Spirit if I have to like go outside of God for my for my, my um, satisfaction at any point we were just reading um, uh, a devotional and says that anything outside of God is 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 sin and really is 
Um, so that's that's because we want to fill, be filled. And if we're walking in the Spirit, we're constantly being filled. And if we walk outside of that, if, you know, I know when I play my games or watch TV, that's all being filled. That's self-satisfaction, self-gratification. And I know that's a hard teaching. That's a hard thing. But it's just allow yourself to be in truth about this. So you can just allow yourself to say, okay, I know that I'm not perfect. I'm not there yet. And to just allow yourself to say, okay, I know that I still gratify my flesh still. But th that we are in a process that die, le die more and more to the, the flesh and be more and more in the spirit. And, and we ask God, God, help me be more faithful. Help me just to hear you to be more in the spirit. We, even, we have to ask for faith because he's the author and perfecter of our faith. And if he's the author and perfecter, it's not in us. So you can't just say, oh, I'm going to have more faithfulness. I'm just, I'm just going to hear God. No, we need his help. God, help me to hear you better. Help me to, to walk in you better. Just ask him to do that is all a part of it too. That's what fruit of, this, uh, fruit of faithfulness is, is to ask for the faith, ask for his, his guidance, ask for the strength, ask for whatever I need so I can be at a place to walk in the Spirit. Just being able to walk in the Spirit, I have to ask him for that. So that I can just be full of him and know that he's the author of this and he's the director of this. And I have nothing in me and, and, and allow myself to be weak and not in control and not full of myself. And so then when we, we can recognize that, we are more humble, we're more, more apt to be in that connection. And we realize the need and, and the, the necessity of having the Holy Spirit always with us and not putting it up, putting on ourselves only and saying, okay, I got this God, you know, or start operating on autopilot. You know, we start recognizing that I'm doing it. I always know that God is in control. God is the one that's empowering me in all things. And having that attitude, because that's obedience, that's true obedience and faithfulness, is when you're doing it out of your reverence for God and out of that um, that submission to God, that I'm doing this because it's out of the, that relationship I have with the Holy Spirit. Um, it says here that... Uh, if we're Christians, you're controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit. See, you're controlled by the Spirit, see? You're not controlled by your desires or, oh, I feel like I should do good there. I should do this or do that. No, you're not affected by the situation. I mean, yeah, what's going on? You're like, oh, I really should do that. Then you say, God, you know, help me you know, to, to know how, what I should do in this situation. You don't all of a sudden just do it. You're directed by the Holy Spirit, and you're like, God, I just really feel I should do that. And a lot of times he says, yeah, I'll do this. But then he'll give you specifics on how to do it because he says, I'll tell you what to say. I'll, t I'll show you what to do. And that's where we need to get to. We need to be faithful in, in doing what God wants us to do, but in the Holy Spirit, not in our flesh. Because when we just jump at whatever we think is good, you know, doing good or doing the right thing, that's when we're doing in the flesh, when we just think, oh, I really should do that, or oh, I should do that. Even at work, I've noticed that God's saying, really teaching me, says, Chris, you do so much in your flesh when you're at work because I know what to do. I know it's the right thing to do, but I don't say, God, I want to honor you and I want you to be in you and I want to be in the Holy Spirit when I do these things. And so I really got to, I have to allow myself and teach my, you know, just persevere and allowing the recognizing just how the spirit wants to, us me to be an old vessel even an open vessel at work and i can just flow through me and, and acknowledge that and i'm not saying that you have to always be thinking god thinking of god as much as having that acknowledgement of god you know um where's that one scripture um if you uh acknowledge me before um me before men and i will direct your path i'm trying to think of Acknowledge him. Oh, and all things acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. See, that's just the like acknowledgement and knowing that it's not me. It's I cannot do this on my own. I have to do, follow the Lord. Follow the Lord, and and then while you're doing things, you're know you're realizing that you're you're not controlling this. You're not you're being aware of the Holy Spirit in this, and it's kind of scary because we like to take control. This or something we have to we want to protect ourselves. It's almost like we're not protecting ourselves. We're not really on guard. We're just allowing us to be vulnerable because God is all things. So if something comes at us that hurts us, his love covers it. If something comes at us that we're frustrated by, his peace covers it. If if we're, you know, all of a sudden something bad happens, his joy covers it because he works all things out for the glory, um, for 
all <laughs> I always, go, I always those who love him yes him yes he works all things out for those who love him okay so the, how that see how that works that's how we be faithful that's how we walk in the spirit that's how we we be full of faith and and be what God wants us to be every moment of the day pray. It's time. and it's time the wife says it's 540. okay I'm just gonna um share one little quick quick thing is that <laughs> that the talents the when you have 10 talents got and, and they came back with more 10 more he says well done um good. good and faithful servant i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness so that's heaven so when we're faithful that's truth faithfulness because god's going to allow us to really be in him but if you, the last one says that, that our person was in, was afraid of that that he he to use his talent and he was afraid that god was was going to be harsh to him so he was really cautious and didn't do much and all and then i said god i i got your one talent back and he was really mad at him he says you're you're a worthless servant because he wasn't he was in his flesh because he was full of fear he was full of of his own self thinking about himself and that's where we have to die to that. We die our fears, die to our own needs, and just trust God and be faithful. So, Lord, we just pray that you help us to be faithful and everybody listening, Lord God, to receive from you, Lord Jesus, and to, to walk in you in this way, Lord God, that we don't do what is good in our own eyes, Lord, but, Lord God, but ask you, Lord Jesus, and, and just acknowledge you in all things so that we can walk in you and, and be your, have you guide our steps, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, God bless.